the feeling all the time I get is that one gov government after another demonstrably doesn't trust the people and so needs to take control of, of, of everything that the people do and how they share information. Yeah, I mean, I think they kind of given up on the people. And from their point of view, uh, the people are regarded as uh, uneducated, as, uh, slightly uh, unable to understand the complexities of life. They, they kind of look down on the people in such a strong, patronizing way. But not just that, they blame the people for their own mistakes. So whenever something goes wrong within governments, it's never their fault. It's somehow the people misunderstood it, the people didn't follow the right orders. And what you now have is a situation where they've uh, changed their vocabulary to the point at which they call, uh, they use the word populist uh, and populism as a shorthand for saying uh, that the people somehow are, are bad, they, and they cannot be trusted. We need to almost insulate ourselves from the people in order to get on with the business of governing. And one of the, I don't know if you noticed this, something new has happened, which is that historically governments were in the business of passing laws that were demanded by the people. They were passing uh, new things that people wanted. Whereas today, whenever new laws are passed and whenever there are new things that are put on the statute books, it's not the people that have asked for it. They have decided that this is what the people need. And that's a, a totally new development where their re so-called reforms or something they, they invented for themselves, not, by, not from the people. In what sense can that be described meaningfully as democracy? Well, you know, it is democracy because democracy is imperfect and unfortunately it's not really working all that well. But you can see hints of democracy coming to the fore. Take the Irish uh, referendum recently. There the government imagined that they can just carry on and you know, shove down people's throats, their view of the world. They basically said that the family is, is not what we used to think, a man and a woman and marriage. It's what they call it any durable relationship. And they thought, well, the Irish people are too stupid to pick up on this. Let's have a referendum. And of course, the people listened and the referendum gave them a chance to show that democracy can actually work. It makes you wonder what is the future of referenda? Because obviously Brexit delivered a result that the, that the authorities did not seem to be ready for. And then you, you cite another example in the, in, the, in the recent Irish referendum. Surely, surely the state will be learning that referenda are problematic, to say the least. It is. And I think for our part, we have to really promote the idea of referendum. So whenever something new comes through, we should insist that, OK, well, if you think this is important, well, why don't you consult the electorate, let them decide yay or nay. And it seems to me that one of the ways in which the democratic deficits in Western Europe can be corrected or, or minimized is by allowing the people to have more access to referendums. I think that's the way forward.